Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Nano Kami the Two Princes Knights of Kyoto Part 2. What did she tell you? Allow me to apologize for this, I've rendered you unable to use your power, but there should be no adverse effects otherwise. You should be able to move again soon and lunch on is on our way as we speak. This may be hard to believe, but you, Lenchan, Shinonome, Sana, as well as Ruka, I value you as much as I would my own children. The world is about to fall into strife and turmoil, and you've all been involved in it. This will prove to be a formidable trial for you, but I pray that you manage to make it through alive. Oh. The fact that she said it, it said it after stealing away your power means. Unbelievable. He seems like he's having trouble believing it, but then he looks over to Marita San's sword. Oh. I thought. Wait. I, I thought men couldn't come into the sanctuary. Oh, okay. Seems like it's true. It was probably Mitsurugi san who knocked me out, too. This can't be happening. Either way, we need to let the others know. I'll inform them. You take care of these two. Leave it to me. Let's go inside for now, you two. Oh, so... I think they're just not allowed to go in. Not, not that they couldn't go in, like a barrier or something. I might have been able to save Morita-san and Yoshimura-san if I stayed behind with them. Or I could have just stopped them. And then again, there's no doubt they wanted nothing but revenge at that point. So what should I have done? <laughs> I would have regretted things more if I wasn't able to save Uzume. That much I know for a fact, and yet... <laughs> he thwacks my head lightly. あなたの住む世界を守れなくなってしまいました。あなたの体も傷つけてしまって。何謝ることなんて何もないでしょ。いや。こうやってあえてよかった。いや、じゃあ、thanks Whoa. I'm pretty sure not, not really. だとしたら、私には薄めが必要だよ。言ったでしょ。薄めは私にとって居場所なんだよ。その代わりこれからもずっと私があんたのこと守っていくだって騎士なんだからもう私を置いてどっかに行こうなんてしないで Oh, they're standing up. Okay, I was like, this is a weird perspective. Pinch her cheeks as hard as I can. Sweet, sweet revenge. 
俺が生きてるって痛みだよ私もうずめも生きてる私は死んだりしないしあんたのことも死なせないはい私ももう約束を破ったりしませんレンちゃんが寿命を迎えるまで死にますレイ<笑>だったら私の方が長生きしてやる何があってもどんなことがあっても私の足ねついさっきまで折れてたのでも真剣の力で骨折もすぐ治るようになったんだよだからね私はすぐ死にはしないから安心してえ骨折まで治るんですかおうんもう治りかけてるよまだ痛いけどもう動けないほどの痛みじゃないし。Can I borrow you for a second, Nanchan? Actually, never mind, you're like so injured, isn't it? Okay, I've informed Uzume chan already, but it seems like Miyada's son died in battle. What? The shock from hearing that almost makes me collapse. Oh man. She was always there to scold me when I needed it. She was always so kind to me. Not just her either. Marita san and Yoshimura san too. It's the truth, unfortunately. We don't have time to mourn, though. We need to focus on what to do next. <laughs> Wait, so she was in here with, with them doing the whole cuddly, kissy stuff? Ah, Shino. No, wasn't Shino Nomi chan with you? My heart's beating like mad. We've lost enough people as it is, but I don't think I could recover if something's happened to Shino, too. My only option is to believe in her. I need to focus on doing what I can hear. I'll let you know as soon as she makes contact. A fair point, but. ごめんなさい。どうやら三種の神器も持っていかれてしまったようです。どのみち、もう力は使えないんでしょ。使おうとしたら、私がその神器叩き壊すけど。Yeah。Hmm。I'm not in the position to make such an important call。こういう時は
事なものちょっと多いのですがここと隣の部屋のレンチャンコレクション全部でいでいおおボイ And we'll find out in the next episode how they're gonna take all that stuff away. Interesting. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!